Hi guys, sorry for the 3D printer noise, but it's, print, it's been printing for 22 hours, so <laughs> it's gonna be going for a while. So earlier today, I saw a pretty cool video by Julian Illet. I'll link to his channel below. So he has a 555 timer, one of these, just oscillating as an oscillator. And the output of that, he connects to a five-state Johnson decade counter. Basically, it's a little counter so you put your clock over here on the CP and then it just counts 0 through 9 and basically it's connected to the LEDs and the cool thing that he did was that instead of just going from 0 through 9 he kind of like bounced back so when it's going to like number 6 he connect that to the same LED or number 4 so it will go back and forth but that doesn't work for me and I believe the reason it didn't work is because my decade counter is not a CMOS. So let me prove to you that mine doesn't work. As you can see, it's working fine as it is. So I got the circuit right. But let me show you what happened if I try to backtrack. I'm going to slow it down so we can see what's going on. So it goes through here. And by the time it goes here, I want it to go back to here. So I'm going to take this one out like that. And instead of going that way, I'm going to go back to this one. I have another resistor just like he does but as you can see by having another one over here this one stopped working and I believe what happened is these uh, the output of my decade counter instead of floating it actually has brings this to ground so now we're fighting one of them wants to be positive the other one wants to be ground so that ended up not lighting up and I could prove that it is actually trying to bring it to ground by flipping the power so currently, I have ground here and all these resistors coming out of the decade counter is positive. I'm going to flip this to, to positive. So none of them work now. But if I flip the LED 90 degrees, so now when it is low, it's actually on rather than the other way around. So this proved that normally it is actually grounded rather than floating. And I could fix all these by flipping the LED 90 degrees. It will actually behave kind of backward. Get in there. <laughs> what is wrong with you? This is some cheap breadboard. If anybody knows how to find a good breadboard that is cheap. <laughs> I guess I got a cheap breadboard that is actually a cheap breadboard. Yeah, the connections are not very good. Um, you know, when you're trying to plug it in, it wouldn't want to go in. I think Julian has some, he did some dissection and some of them has a little flute. As you can see, it's working with the kind of like the negative way. So it, when, when these are positive, it actually turns it off because we are now giving it positive over here. So Julian, you got <laughs> you got really lucky by by picking just the right decade counter. Mine doesn't work. <laughs> but a whole bunch of people in Julian's video mentioned that they uh, have done this before using diodes. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, let's double check everything. We don't need those resistors anymore. I, c I have one common resistor on the negative for all of them because only one of them will be on at one time anyway. So all the output of the decade counter now has a diode. So the first, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. The first five, oh, it should be the first six. Yeah, the first six. The first six are going directly from here and then the the next four actually are not going to the LED. I think you could see that, right? Yeah, there, I shifted one to the left from the LED, so this, this will not light up. But instead, they backtrack. So this first one here is gonna go, so it'll go boom, 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 boom. So now from here, it needs to go back. And so 
that's why I have this one going back one the next one going back two the next one going back three next one going back four yeah that should work <laughs> let's turn it on uh oh <laughs> it doesn't work at all it does not work at all okay what am I doing wrong that's a, di a diode goes there with a positive that's the ground oh these LEDs are still backward I got them backward remember from earlier yeah that's working Yeah, it's working. I need to get one more. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this whole thing is done without any Arduino, no microprocessor, no programming whatsoever. It's just a whole bunch of LEDs, two chips. Pretty cool, Julian. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.